Hello Pisces, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is your mid-May 2022 energy check-in reading. Mainly relationship, single, you know, love type of reading. Um, I am new to the tarot community platform on YouTube. However, I have over a decade of tarot experience. I actually created this channel years ago for another purpose. And um, I decided, you know what? I want to reach as much people as I possibly can. So I thought that instead of just doing tar private tower readings, that it would be better for me to join the YouTube tarot community. And I'm so excited to be here, guys, with my beautiful Pisces today. I did pre-shuffle this deck, however, I decided to reshuffle it. And um, please like, share, and comment as this will help my channel grow. I appreciate all the love already, even though I'm just getting started with this YouTube platform. I feel great about sharing my gift with you guys. And then do an energy check-in and find out what's going on with my Pisces for me. What's going on with my Pisces for me? Spirits, please show me the cards that I need to see. Please show me the cards that I need to see to get these messages to my fellow well, I'm not a Pisces, but to my Pisces. <laughs> okay, I'm pull some cards for you guys. Please, spirits, show me the cards that I need to see. Spirits, please show me the cards that I need to see for my Pisces. Please show me the cards that I need to see for my Pisces. See what's going on here. Hmm. Your challenges are going to be these two cards, the bottom of the deck. That will be your challenges, Pisces. Um, right away, I see that you, Pisces, in the recent has there's been some troubles in relationships um there's been conflict between you and your person and it's like the person that your your person on um, pisces is a hmm, they're a little bit i'm getting from this this page of swords reverse that your person tends to argue in a manner that's rude and um, insulting. They like to use insults when they're putting you down. There's a lot of bickering between you and your person in the recent past. Um, there's also some deception going on. I'm picking up from both cards, from that and from the six of swords reverse. I also see It's just a, it's, this connection is very, in the recent past, it's unstable, okay? It's like you're trying to fight, fight, fight through things, and then, you know, you have your moments where you, you guys may be, you know, somewhat getting along, but you're like on eggshells with each other, and when you, when you guys, when you and your person gets into a conflict, it's like this person tends to hit below the belt, okay? Um... They'll say something that they know is going to hurt you. Um, but at the same time, with this page of swords reverse, you're like, mm, this is all talk. This person's all talk. So you don't really take this person seriously with the, um, with the insults. Um, it's like you know that the, the insults are coming from a place of emotions. Um, but there's some manipulation in this union. I'm not sure which person it's coming from, but there's definitely deceptiveness in this um, in the recent past. Um, we're gonna pull, let me pull the card to, to clarify 
um, spirits, please clarify this page of swords reversed in a recent past. Please clarify this page of swords reversed in a recent past. I'll, okay. Let me pull another card for clarity. Spirits, please clarify this page of swords in the recent past for our Pisces. Please clarify. Okay. Um, what I'm getting is I'm getting energies for more than one person because I also see that there's a, a queen of cups here. This queen of cups is a, a really good person, a, a loyal, nurturing energy. Um, could be a, a a good mother. There's um this is a compassionate person. So I feel like there's two energies in here, Pisces. There's a, there's this Queen of Cups, but there's also something else going on in the background. Um, so I feel like there's two different energies in here. Also, I got the Nine of Pentacles. I got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, let me move this camera, guys. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I got this Nine of Pentacles also um showing that you know this person i'm gathering this this queen of cups energy is also this nine of cups energy this is somebody that's financially stable um a self-disciplined -dis individual so that's why i said that i'm getting um two different energies um pisces so i'm not sure we're gonna have to clarify to find out why there's two energies in this card but there's definitely this Queen of Cups energy, which is a really, you know, um, compassionate, emotionally mature individual, which is the complete opposite of this other energy that I'm getting from your person. So if I'm getting these two, these two, I'm getting these two energies, I'm imagining there's two different people. So we're gonna pull some more cards. If, I'm sorry, let me fix this camera. This is so ridiculous. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, guys. So sorry about this setup. Okay. All right. So I'm gathering that there's two different energies from this card. So I'm gonna pull some clarifiers to find out why. Um, perhaps there's an old person, a new person, or but there's definitely um some sort of third party situation. Okay. Um, this is in the recent past, Pisces. Currently, I got the Judgment and the Ace of Swords reverse. Um. from your person this is telling me um i'm getting two energies again even in the current uh, this ace of swords this individual this energy is the arguments um there's a there's lack of communication that's coming out of here there's there's frustration um there's conflict with this ace of swords reverse okay um this judgment is basically saying you know, that there isn't any conflict. There's decisiveness. It's the complete opposite. So again, I'm getting two energies coming in in this read um, because this is decisiveness. You know, feeling good and awakened within your union. Um, yet we have this this argument and confusion and there's this there's this bickering again this bickering energy that i'm getting with this um ace of swords in the current position okay um for the future i have the wheel of fortune and i have the two of swords reverse um it's just i'm getting like delayed energy like knowing that a change needs to happen with this two of swords reverse but just sitting in that energy um some sort of for some of my pisces there was some plans to travel that might have been canceled recently um that will be canceled i'm sorry this is in a future position so look out for that that's only for a small amount of my pisces i'm getting that energy but there is something that's the planning is is not thorough. It hasn't been pushed through because of 
the indecisiveness to move forward. That's what I'm getting. And however, I'm also getting um, the Wheel of Fortune, which is like, this is a karma card. This is a soulmate. <laughs> We're gonna pull some more cards because as far as I'm con I can see with these cards that I'm already pulling, there's absolutely two energies, Pisces. So I'm getting that there are two people involved in this reading, three all together. This is a third party relationship, okay? I'm gonna pull some clarifiers. Spirits, please clarify. Um, I need to clarify messages from Pisces person, I should say, or people. Please clarify what is going on with our Pisces in their love life currently. Please clarify that, please clarify. Um, I have the King of Pentacles reverse, the Devil, and the Page of Wands reverse. And let me interpret these cards. Um, okay, <laughs> this clarifies the third party that I was saying. Um, what's happening with Pisces right now is that you're in a union. There's, there's definitely, <laughs> oh my God. You've made a, in the recent past, there was a decision not too long ago. The past, again, just please understand when I do my readings, the past is any time that has, has already occurred. It could be last, it could be yesterday, last week, last month, last year. It's in the past. Um, I would say, when I say recent past, that's like within the last year, within the last six months, something of that sort. It's recent. It doesn't go years and years back. But what I'm getting is that with this um, King of Pentacles reverse, I'm getting um, masculine energy of someone who's disloyal. Um, I get that this masculine energy has has um, financial issues as well. That's coming out in this read for a certain amount of you Pisces. Um, and again, I pulled the Queen of Cups earlier. That was a feminine energy. That person is, is financially stable in the union. Um, however, with this person, this is a person that has money issues, who's disloyal. Um, again, I'm, I'm picking this up as masculine energy. Um, just a very ruthless, uncaring type of uh, energy, unfortunately. And with this devil, I am getting um, a person that's disloyal. A, a person that also has dependency issues. I'm getting that this, this masculine energy relies on stability from the feminine energies, okay? This is what this person relies on, but this is also, there's cheating for sure. That's why I remember I said early on that there's a third party. There is definitely a third party. That's why I'm getting those two different feminine energies. And then I have this page of wands reverse. That's for the in the future position. This Oh wow. This is a gullible energy. This is someone who's gullible, but it's because out of fear. So they, they see what they want to see. So they're, they're a bit um, closed-minded. They don't want to see what's actually happening. Instead, they're sitting in this negative energy and they fail to do what they know they need to do to move forward. So they rather, it's like almost like just not having the physical, emotional energy to move forward that kind of thing and not really wanting to receive what really is in front of them okay so that's what i gather um there is a third party energy in here again this is this feels like feminine energy because of this this person this disloyal person um my Pisces we're also gonna go to what to see what your challenges are 
the challenges right here on the bottom left. The challenging cards, Pisces, is the Ten of Wands reverse and the Knight of Cups. Your challenge is accepting. Mm, wow. Your challenge is taking action. That's what I'm getting from this Knight of Cups. Your challenge is taking action. I feel like this is from the feminine energies, not the masculine. Um, keep in mind that tarot is not male or female, it's just energies. And I'm getting um, that the Knight of Cups is saying that this is... <laughs> this is, um, hmm, let's see something. This is an attractive, charming, sensitive person um, who's receiving, who's recently, who's receiving some sort of, the challenge is receiving a romantic, charming offer um, and following your heart. That's the challenge for this, for this feminine energy, but also I'm getting that there's this feminine person feels like there's so much going on. They feel burdened. You know, they feel like they have too much responsibility. That's what I'm getting from this Ten of Wands reverse. That this feminine energy is feeling burdened by everything going on. Doesn't really feel like they're willing to take some sort of emotional offer that's being offered to them. Okay? Um... Yes, I'm going to actually pull some clarifying challenging cards, okay? What's Pisces challenges, spirits? What's the... Okay. The, I pulled the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles reverse, okay? Um, The, the challenge is, is is if the if the Pisces then I get that this is the a feminine energy though I don't feel that this is a Pisces actually this is Pisces energy what I'm getting is this fool is the challenges the Pisces willing to start all over, you know, um, being thoughtful and more present and just, just jumping into a better situation as far as relationships goes, just moving forward. But you know what? This is a new beginning for us. That's the challenge. Or continuing to, this Ace of Pentacles reverse is like, a broken commitment so for you Pisces are you going to continue in this broken committed relationship or are you gonna be thoughtful and and decide to just fix it to just say you know what there's a lack of commitment here though I'm getting a lack of commitment from this fool card it's like a, a, a part of you wants to say, let me just start over. Let's just like almost, you know, let's start this union over. Let's not leave this union. Let's just start over. But it's like one foot in, one foot out with this fool card I'm getting with this, with this, with you Pisces. You got one foot out the door because, um, there's instability in this relationship and it was there's been a broken commitment okay so your challenge is trying to fix it or continue in the energy that you've been in pisces okay wow 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull some cards. To find out what's going on as far as your person. This is Twin Flame cards that I'm pulling, Twin Flame Oracle cards. We're going to see what's going on with your person, the person that you're connecting with. People, I should say, because again, there's two energies in this card. But I really want to know, you know, I know enough about the Queen of Cups. I want to know what's going on with this negative energy in your challenges. I need to know what is going on with the person that you are connecting with in a negative way. Like, what is happening here? with this connection okay um i already pre-shuffled these cards i just shuffled them again if you're just joining me please like share and comment as this helps my new channel grow okay welcome to alexander tarot let's pull these cards let's see what's going on okay let's see what's going on with this these are messages from your person, Pisces, okay? Actually, these are messages within the union. So I'm getting chaos and confusion as far as your current relationship union, okay? Sorry. There you go, okay? I'm getting phoniness. There's a lot of fake stuff going on within that union. There's a cycle, some sort of cycle closing out. It says closure. It doesn't mean that a relationship is ending. It means that one cycle's ending and another one's beginning. Let's pull some more cards to see what's going on with the person you're connected with. Okay. What I'm getting from the person you're connecting with is there's a lot of regrets. I'm not sure which energy that is. I would imagine that it's the negative connection that you have um somebody may be going through a soul death a rebirth of their soul in that connection in your connection and in this connection someone's definitely overthinking and self-sabotaging the connection the reason why they're self-sabotaging i mean i don't know why i'm mispronouncing it sabotaging what is wrong with me today? I didn't have my, I didn't have my coffee. <laughs> um, the reason why I feel like this is happening is because this person doesn't trust you. Doesn't trust your intentions. Doesn't feel secure in this union. So therefore, they're overthinking. They're probably having trouble sleeping at night. That kind of, that kind of thing. First, tell me to pull three more cards. Your connection is thinking about self-love and independence and working on that. Divine time is in play with this connection. Although your person desires you, there's also, there's doubts in that union. Okay. Spirit's telling me to pull three more cards. Three more cards to see what's going on with the person on your mind they feel that they're living a lie this could be any two of those feminine um connections that's coming through in this reading refocusing and gaining clarity person that's on your mind is trying to refocus and gain some clarity on the situation um false mask They feel like they're putting up a front in this connection. And then they're not really happy. They're just kind of stuck. Okay? All right. That's all from that deck. Now we're going to pull some hidden truth cards. So your person, so we can see what your person would say but is not saying to you. What are their thoughts? What is on their mind that they are thinking but they are not saying to Pisces? These are pre-shuffled, so please. <laughs> I know I'm a little sloppy with this right now. Again, I didn't have my coffee this morning, but all my decks are pre-shuffled. Okay. Here we go. 
Spirits, please show me the messages that I need to see in regards to the thoughts on Pisces person's mind that they are not seeing, but they are feeling. Okay. These are messages from your person, Pisces. I am not available. This person is trying to move on because they feel you leaving them behind. I feel you leaving me behind. I lost myself for a little while. They feel like they lost their self with you, Pisces. This person's telling me to pull three more cards. And they, this person is so torn. Look at that. We will be together again soon. We will be together again, I'm sorry. So there's it's this in and out energy with this person. They're really trying to move on though. They know, they're aware that they've lost their self. Um, and they're trying, but they, they're emotionally, you know, there's an emotional, there's a real intense connection here. Um, you speak to me through music, this person is saying. Just being near you is intoxicating. That's why this person is saying they're not available to you because they know that when they're physically around you, they're physically drawn to you. Even though the connection is toxic from what I'm getting. My life is not as together as it seems. They think that you were the best thing in their life because their life is not as together as it seems, Pisces. And they, they realize that they know they crossed the line with you. So what I'm getting is that they may be aware of the third party situation. Um, so they know that they crossed the line, but they're emotionally invested. So they're having a hard time breaking free, okay? I'm gonna pull some advice cards for my Pisces, okay? Let's pull some advice cards. Spirits, please reveal the cards that I need to see. We're gonna pull some advice cards for our Pisces. Okay. I got the Four of Wands reverse. I got the Five of Wands reverse. And I got the Magician. This is what the cards, this is just an advice reading, okay? This Four of Wands reverse is an unhappy family. It's domestic harmony. There's conflicts within a union. And now what I'm getting is it's clear that there is there is infidelity. That is clear. There's two energies that I picked up on this reading all along about cheating and disloyalty. Um, one energy may not be completely aware of, this, of the, the, the disloyalty and the infidelity, but the other one seems is clearly aware. That's why they said they crossed the line. This is, um, what you have is family conflict though. So whatever's happening in one union is definitely spilling over to the other. And it's all in your hands, Pisces. So the thing is you have this disrupted harmony in your family and you can choose as this five of wands state you need to come to a compromise you need to end the conflict you need to bring peace and harmony back into your relationship you need to you know get rid of this four of wands reverse and just work on the work on the union you need to work on your union. Um, you can manifest the relationship that you want. That's the magician. You can manifest the relationship that you want, but you have to make a decision. Do you want to manifest the relationship that you really want? Do you want to? Um, or do you want to stay in this bad union? You have this 
broken union here. So you have to decide, are you going to manifest a better relationship for yourself or stay in this, stay in this union, this negative union. Um, right now, it seems like you're trying to avoid conflict. I'm also getting that energy from this five of wands that you're trying to compromise and avoid conflict. So you have to decide what direction that you want to move on. You can have the relationship that you want to have in spite of everything that's going on. But you have to decide, do you want to be loyal? Do you want to be in this union? Or do you want to continue with this domestic disharmony, okay? You have to decide. Do I want to be in this relationship? Pisces, you have to say to yourself, do I want to be in this union that's good for me or do I want to continue on, you know, doing things and, and living a lifestyle that's not conducive? You have to decide, okay? So um, that's all that I have for my Pisces for mid-May 2022. Again, thank you for joining me. Alexander Tarot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it helps this channel grow. I'm looking forward to helping you guys as time goes on. God bless you. Love and light.